You ready? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Noah Bradley, and this is... Rachel Bradley! <laughs> Officially! Hi, guys. Hey. Um, so we had this idea recently of um, doing little YouTube talk things like this because we have a lot of conversations about art and life and how to be an artist and stuff like that. And we thought they were kind of interesting and may as well start recording them. Because, we kind uh, of like half an hour into a conversation stop and go, oh, it'd be really good to get on camera. Yeah, um, <laughs> why didn't we record any of that? Um, it's kind of cool because I'm used to, you know, talking by myself in art camp videos and stuff. And it's nice being able to talk to someone else that has a different perspective. We don't agree on everything, no. shockingly. <laughs> um, yet we still somehow are married to each other. Three weeks, three weeks and it's still functional. married. <laughs> um, I'm impressed by us. Um, so it's kind of cool because we do have very different perspectives. You know, I've been doing this professionally for eight years now, and you've been taking it seriously for two? Not even. Not even um, two. I kind of started taking it seriously January 2017. Um, right. And I still don't kind of identify as being professional. I right. still, I'm starting to get comfortable with my work, but I'm still learning. Yeah. So I still, in my head, I'm a student. So right. it's kind of interesting to have this yeah. kind of like two perspectives, yeah. two different stances. Yeah. So um, we'll be talking about random stuff uh, this, this week. I don't know. How, I don't know how often we're doing these. Uh, <laughs> um, when we feel we'll, like we'll, it. Op we'll optimistically <laughs> say weekly, yeah, uh, maybe so. more like monthly. Yeah. Um, but we'll find out. <laughs> but anyways, this time uh, we're going to be talking about fundamentals, which we thought was kind of a good place to start. Usually is. Because um, you had quite a time with fundamentals. Yeah, I just refused to acknowledge they existed for a long time. Uh, so my life kind of pre-Noah, pre-fundamentals, um, I just ignored them completely. So I would just kind of paint away. Um, I figured that improving meant just kind of practicing as much as I could, just painting as much as I could. Um, and I did, I was improving, it was okay, but I was improving so slowly. Um, and I kind of just believed that that was like a ceiling to my ability, that uh, artists have a way that they paint. And that I just wasn't destined to be right. someone like Noah Bradley. <laughs> no. um, so I just kind of gave up and uh, I met you. And I was like, so like, you know, what can I do to, to improve? Why am I so stuck? And you're like, fundamentals and I was like yeah yeah okay yeah, but that doesn't work so what actually can I do to improve what's the real <laughs> still fundamentals yeah. um, and I was the most grudging student I wouldn't do it and I moped when I did it and I was <laughs> pain in the butt for a long time um, but guess what <laughs> I grudgingly looked back and was like oh okay so maybe I improved it <laughs> um, I was always looking for a shortcut yeah. and fundamentals I found out were they seem like the longest thing to be doing. It seemed like yeah. boring, but uh, actually kind of the fastest way to get better. Yeah, it's it's really hard for people because people think that they want to, they see the end goal, they see these beautiful finished paintings and they're like, well, if I just do like, try to do beautiful finished paintings all the time, surely eventually I'll, I'll do one that's good. Um, but really you gotta like take 10 steps back to mm -hmm. the very, very boring, basic fundamental stuff and then just work on that because mm. um, I often tell people that good paintings are not like any fancy techniques like I don't move a brush any different than anyone else does you I don't, don't even use layers I don't, I don't do anything <laughs> cool the only thing that good paintings are are just really good applied fundamentals that's that's all it is that's all the good painting is there's no like secret ingredient that goes in a painting besides good fundamentals yeah there's like all the kind of flair and the fancy brush effects oh, yeah. and the photo bashing and sure. stuff like that it's just kind of it just can't cover up bad no. fundamentals it can it's just it's blatantly obvious you can do a very good painting that has no flair and it's kind of maybe bland but yeah. still a good painting if it's got yeah. good fundamentals right. you can use all of the fancy effects in the world all yeah. the layer styles and god knows what yeah. and if you've got bad fundamentals it still looks bad yeah. um just kind of no way around it. So I spent yeah. like all of last year when I first got into art camp and I kind of had you mentoring me and I had everything laid out for me. I had mm -hmm. it handed to me on a plate, um, had the perfect learning setup. And I was doing my master's studies uh, and my ability to copy went through the roof. I got sure. really good at copying. Um, but I found that while my technical ability to paint, my technical ability to observe got way better, my ability to make my own stuff didn't get any better and right. I was convinced that was because I was doing the fundamentals and not painting yeah. and um, 
actually we kind of realized it's because I wasn't doing the fundamentals still. I was yeah. just copying. Yeah. Um, so master studies are wonderful, they're yes. incredible. Um, but if you don't go into it with the right mindset, it's easy yeah. to learn the wrong thing. Yeah. So I'm kind of learning like brush efficiency sure. and stuff like that before I know what perspective is. Right. Um, so actually there's a funny thing happened where for like the whole of last year, uh, even though I was working my butt off, it was like, it was definitely an improvement, but not in my own work. Yeah. Um, then we got to January and I started doing my own work and it was like, yeah. Then in February I did my own work and we focused on the fundamentals. You helped me kind of go like, come on honey, <laughs> values, perspective, <laughs> drawing, values come on. Values are good. Do, do some values. <laughs> Have you tried drawing that instead yeah. of just like, mm. Yes, that was uh, an actual <laughs> critique one time. I came over and she was like having a breakdown about a painting. Oh and my God. it was way worse than anything she could normally do. And I just, I look at it for a couple of seconds and I realized she hadn't drawn anything. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm focusing on all these fundamentals. I'm like, but you forgot the, the drawing one, you know? So see, this kind just, of... You're perfectly capable of drawing, <laughs> but you just decided not to. This came off the back of me trying to stop ignoring values. Right. So this was such a big elusive thing. I couldn't sure. get my head around. Yeah. So, um... I sat down one day and I was like, I'm going to make sure that if nothing else, this painting has really good values. Okay. And I was convinced that was going to help me. So, and it, it did, but I just focused on values and I got my values great and yeah. ignored everything else that I'd learned. Yeah. So the drawing, which is usually my strength, sure. <laughs> just didn't exist. She had like yeah. a, a tube bar yeah. and like, uh, it was just, and I just couldn't see it. I yeah. was like, I, yeah, I had a breakdown. It wasn't glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was really fed up with it. I was like, I, you know, I, I, paid attention, I did the thing, I was yeah. humble, I was like, yeah. I need to improve. And then I did it and it didn't work. And you just kind of looked, and you were like, but what about the other stuff you know? Just try, try drawing. <laughs> try that too. Try, try to remember to draw sometimes. But yeah, the difference between that year of progress of kind of copying masters, but not thinking about the fundamentals right. versus the last four months of yeah. kind of actually not too many studies compared to what I was doing last year, yeah. but really, really yes. being careful at the fundamentals, my work's gone boom. Oh yeah. And suddenly you can see that this thing that seems like a pain in the bum and it's just slow and boring is right. actually the fastest shortcut we've got. Oh, it yeah. seems like the slow laying the foundations yeah. and then making sure everything's planned and good. It sounds yeah. really slow. Oh yeah. But that's what people say that's like being slow is, I don't know, there's like some cool saying. I can't think yes. of a cool saying, uh, but that going slow is a good way to go fast. Yes. And it's really, really true. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and that's why uh, all the time in art camp, I'm constantly harping on people to actually think and focus on what they need to learn, mm -hmm. um, which is breaking down the fundamentals. Because the first art camp was built around these are the best exercises to do to learn faster and to learn better. And I think every single week I would remind people to think when they're doing them <laughs> rather than just mindlessly copy. Because guess what? If you just mindlessly copy, you can. <laughs> You can get quite good at copying, yep. and there are plenty of people out there that can copy a photo wonderfully, far better than I ever could, <laughs> uh, because their ability to copy is great, but you try to get them to draw something or know something, and they, they don't know anything. Flounder. So um, if you've got these fundamental things in mind while you're doing these studies, you learn way faster. Mm. So, so much faster. How do you find it as a professional um, getting values and uh, sorry, getting fundamentals right in your paintings. There's like a, for me as a newbie, um, I have to go through really painful stages of first figuring out what the drawing's gonna be, sure. then what the values are gonna be, then yeah. what the colors are gonna be, right. then making sure it's all very, is that something that you can kind of, you start to get quicker at every time you do it or? I mean, not necessarily quicker, but I guess better at, yeah. a little more comfortable. It becomes a little more subconscious, but mm -hmm. at the same time, there are plenty of artists out there that will do a perfect line drawing and get the whole drawing right, get the perspective right, get the anatomy right. Then they'll move on to values and they'll get the values right, they'll block everything in. Then they'll go on to the color and figure out the color and get all the color dynamics right. And so they'll actually go through all these different stages of fundamentals. Yeah. You can do it all at the same time, it's just a bit more of a juggling act yeah. of like when you run into problems, which you often do in paintings, it's just constant problem solving. Mm. Uh, you have to diagnose like what is the problem here? Like mm. when I looked at your painting and <laughs> you had great values, Thanks. they were really nice. They were really nice values, really good silhouettes and stuff. 
And then there was just no drawing, just zero drawing. Like, <laughs> it, like a five-year-old drew this thing. Hey! <laughs> okay, a six-year-old. Um, that's, that's about the quality there. So yeah, it it's, it's all about balancing all these fundamentals. And it's also really obvious when any one of those is lagging behind the others. Um, for instance, the most common one you probably see is people slacking off on perspective. Uh, people just get really lazy about perspective. They're like, no, no, I don't need to learn perspective. I'm just drawing figures. <laughs> figures don't have perspective, right? Oh. Uh, or, or they, you know, get lazy about drawing because they're so obsessed with nice texture effects mm. and cool lighting effects and all yeah. that, and they just leave drawing behind. Or there's like a bit of a fear between drawing and nice painterly approaches. Sure. There's like a weird kind of barrier that's gone up between the two. I think people yeah. kind of looking at cool paintings that are obviously very loose and stuff like that yeah. um, and thinking that a tight, careful drawing beforehand is going to cut and ruin the right. cool effects. Something I struggled with for a long time. Sure. Um, and like I refuse to use lines and stuff like yeah. that because looking at the way you paint and the way everyone who's really good paints and they've all got <laughs> these wonderful like juicy organic brushes and I'm like, I can't, yeah. you know, yeah. if I'm drawing, it's not going to work. Right. Um, so I ignored drawing in a pursuit of yeah. this beautiful painterly style sure. and just ends up making my five-year-old woman right um so that's kind of it's good to know that people i mean there are some incredible painters out there who do really tight line drawings sure. first um it's not it's not going to trap you into anything it's just going to help you make those brush strokes more confidently yeah. not just kind of guessing and then redoing it and guessing and redoing it and that's when you get your overwinded look yeah that's pretty cool yeah drawing drawing's a good one and also, a lot of people think that once you're done with the drawing, you're done drawing. Mm, no, no. <laughs> uh, so they just like stop. They do they do a nice drawing and then they just paint. And they think those are two separate things. Mm. But anytime you're painting, you're really drawing because mm. drawing is just placement of things, placement of edges, placement of you know curves and all that, and figuring out exactly how it works. It's not one step that you just do and then leave behind. Mm. Uh, painting is not like coloring a drawing. It's it's all interconnected, which I guess is part of my issue with how painting and drawing are taught. They're taught as two separate things, mm. um, when in fact they're kind of the same thing. Yeah, I had a real struggle for a long time because I, I was like, I'm good at drawing and bad at painting, and right. refused to see like an overlap. Right. Um, and when I was painting, I felt like I couldn't use the strengths I had in drawing sure. um, because I was painting, I wasn't drawing. Yeah. Um, and when I just kind of accepted that drawing was part of painting and part of the process yeah. and just kind of relaxed a bit. Yeah. Um, I think I discovered this by having a breakdown. Oh, gosh, most of my realizations come from breakdowns. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, very patient teacher. You are. Bless <laughs> you. Um, so I kind of have these realizations and I'm, you know, I'm working hard and it's not working for me. I'm trying right. to force myself to paint the way that I see good people painting and it's not working. And right. like, why am I so incapable? Yeah. Um, it's usually off the back of that, that I will go and do a comfort zone drawing sure. or just doodle. Yeah. And then suddenly I find that I love the process. Yeah. It comes out fixing all the problems I was having. Yeah. And I have this great big epiphany, which you could see coming from a mile off. And I'm like, no, no, I guess what? I didn't, yeah, I know. Yes, yeah. Drawing <laughs> well is cool. You should draw more. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a struggle I had in February was accepting drawing. And now yeah. it's, now that I have again, my another fundamental in place, my sure. work's gone up again. Yeah. Um, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. And I think um, another big point about fundamentals is that you keep coming back to them. Mm. It, it bothers me when people think that, um, you figure out fundamentals like for good and like <laughs> yeah. then you're then you're done Tick like done. like you've got values and you're done <laughs> uh, which is not the case um fundamentals all of them you can just keep coming back to uh you're gonna find that you're worse at one than all the other ones mm -hmm. and so you just got to keep coming back to it back to it back to it no matter how good you get i mean i've been professional for eight years and still i'm like yeah, I can work my values. They're a little weak sometimes, you know, like my colors are kind of sloppy. Uh, like just a couple of years ago, I figured some new things out about perspective that were hindering my work. And yeah, so you just keep coming back to things and finding things that you need to work on. Uh, it's not, it's not like once you get good at painting, you stop getting <laughs> better at painting. Yeah. Uh, it's a continual process of this. It's almost like, um, your capacity to understand the fundamentals increases as you get better. Yeah. Um, you kind of, you go through them and you pick them up and then you start applying them. And then in that process of applying them, the processing of them, the understanding of them 
means that next time you go back, you see something new in it. And you right. can kind of, once you know the rules, you can bend them and stuff. So sure. the more thoroughly you know the rules, <laughs> the deeper you understand them, the more you can play with them. Yeah. Um, that was one of the struggles I had in getting going was I believed I understood them. Right. Um, so when you came into my life and were like, do the fundamentals, and I was like, I know what perspective is. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess what, everything I did was in that perspective. Yeah. And I was like, oh, values, that's that thing where you make the background light and the foreground dark. I do that <laughs> in all my paintings. And, <laughs> Guess what? Like yeah. it's a bit more than there's, that. There's a little more to that. Um, so that is, it's a good thing to keep kind of a um, an open mind about it and yeah. not trap yourself into believing that you've you've done it now. Um, even people going through art camp, sure. I don't want people to think art camp is something you kind of you progress through and you do yeah. twelve videos and yep. and you've and done. You've done. graduated art Yay. camp. Good job. You can delete it. Yeah. You, can, you can never need to do yeah, another master study mentorship. again. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a reference you keep coming back to. Yeah. Um, it's something you should revisit. It's yeah. a healthy part of learning, sure. um, and we shouldn't stop learning. No way. It's it's good to just keep keep it fresh. Keep coming back and seeing what you've learned from the most recent stuff. Yeah. Um, and the best painters I know still think that they're yeah. improving. Oh yeah. Um, the worst painters I know don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very um, it's a very good point because uh, it requires a fair bit of humility to get better at art. It requires you to acknowledge that there are things you don't know. And if you ever find yourself in a place where you're like, oh yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I got this figured out. You're probably in a <laughs> terrible place and you should stop that. You're probably like but, I was. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you're doing, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, you you got to maintain the status of just constant learning, mm. constant admitting you have weaknesses and finding out what they are. It comes and goes and cycles and stuff, but uh, you always want to make sure that you're going up. You're not just stagnating. It's kind of liberating. Um, you can be a confident artist and a confident person sure. without believing that you can't learn anymore. Right. Like confident doesn't mean I'm the greatest. Yes. That's arrogance. Yes. Confidence is accepting you have the ca capacity to learn yeah. the stuff you can't do. Yeah. It's accepting that, okay, yeah, so I'm not a master yet. Um, yeah. And I probably will never be a master. Right. I'm going to keep learning this. Yes. And that is what confidence is. I think yeah. a lot of people think that um, trying to be a professional artist, one day you'll hit a eureka point right. where you're like, I'm a professional. I'm, I'm, I'm the done. greatest. Every painting I'm going to do from now yeah. on is going to be the best. Um, it's not, <laughs> it's never like that. Um, and just kind of, it's liberating yeah. to accept that you're going to always be learning. You're going to always have weak points. Right. Everyone's always going to have weak points. Everyone sure. around you has got weak points. Yeah. Every artist needs to improve in some way. Right. Everybody has something to learn. Um, and it is never just a straight path up to Eureka and no. plateau. <laughs> no, no, it is not. You're never locked in. You can yeah. always, always change or improve or oh, play yeah. or experiment. I mean, I, I still feel like I probably need another 10, 20 years you before know. I get like, okay <laughs> at art. Uh, maybe then I'll like have figured out a few things. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll still have a few weak spots, but I'll be, I'll be pretty good by then. That was one of the, oh, this makes me sound like a terrible person. That was one of the greatest things you ever told me. <laughs> when it was, I'm, I have self-doubt. I was like, yeah. oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like, yeah. he's human. This yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. But no, no, Bradley still thinks he's got stuff to learn yeah, and I've got you up on this like wonderful god art pedestal. Mm, no. um, hearing that was kind of scary because I was like oh god if you've got 10, 20 years to go where am I yeah. at? But at the same time like wow okay so you can be a very good artist and you can be a very confident per person you can help other people out sure. before you feel like <laughs> I've got it all sorted out. Because you're never gonna yeah. feel, <laughs> if you do you're in trouble because yes. that is not, not yes. good. See if uh, like two years ago, um, if two years ago Rachel could see me now, uh, she'd die of happiness. She'd yeah. be like, "All right, well, she's rolling in riches. Yes. Like she's got everything figured. Yes. <laughs> she's cool." Yeah. Um, and now I feel exactly the same as two years ago, Rachel. Yeah. Um, I have dragged my sorry butt through the future with me. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much I've improved yeah. or how much I can see I've learned. Sure. I'm still Rachel. Right. <laughs> I still have the same kind of thought patterns about things. Yep. Um, I can still see the weakness in my work before I see the strengths oh, in my yeah. work. Um, <coughs> and I think people think that they're going to change as a person mm. when they get good at art and when they get better and it's going to fix everything for them. <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> Nothing's going to change. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have this glossy view of how it's all going to be. Right. And then you get there and it's all glossy, but it's still you. Yeah. It's still your the same sorry excuse for a human being and you're like oh well okay cool <laughs> never mind <laughs> yep. so it's kind of like a, it's a good thing to realize it yeah. sounds really negative 
Sure. But it's it's good. It's good to have that kind of understanding that there's always room to improve. Yes. Um, that just getting good is not going to fix you and no. make everything better. No. Um, it's not going to make every painting a smashing success. And you still need to pay attention to the fundamentals. You yes. cannot skip them. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it becomes more of a subconscious process, you've still got to yeah. still got to be there. But even even at my level, it's still often a very conscious process. Yeah. Like I'm doing some paintings right now that I can't talk about. <laughs> but um, when I run into problems with them, the first thing I do is diagnose. Like, okay, which of the fundamentals am I struggling with that this piece needs? Do it. Do I need to work on the drawings more? Do I need to work on the values some more? Maybe the colors need a little bit of help. Maybe something looks out of place. Maybe the perspective is getting off. Uh, and so I'll actually consciously think of like, okay, how do I, how do I diagnose the problem here in my painting? Uh, so I'm still going back to it. I still do studies to figure out stuff that, does. I I can confirm. that I've never done before. Because uh, I've been lazy and put them off and done all the terrible things that I tell people not to do. And, well, I mean, foliage. Yes, foliage, Foli foliage was a good one. <laughs> yeah, because I had put it off for <laughs> my entire career. Uh, yeah, Rocks, some, clouds, and never a tree. Never <laughs> trees. Trees, stumps, yes, oh, yeah. but never leaves. Uh, I really hated foliage, and it's just, it's very tedious to paint. And I put it off, and put it off, and put it off. And I was like, okay, I haven't done this, going to do this. So I did a couple paintings with just a ton of foliage in them and got reasonably good yeah. at doing them. And the uh, studies that you did as well. Yeah. Uh, we had, we were in Bali and yes. we had like jungle leaves outside uh, yeah. and you were drawing from the jungle leaves uh, and yeah. you had reference photos from other places we visited mm -hmm. and you just, you spent like a day just doing those studies yeah. and you didn't stop there either. You no. kind of, you kept revisiting it um, and you went from someone who refused to paint foliage to doing two Folio cent <laughs> yes. centric paintings in like oh, yeah. a, a month, I think. Yeah. Um, and so you can see, even like someone like you, who for me, I'm just like, uh, all hail uh, Bradley, <laughs> <laughs> just good paintings. Um, mm. He can do everything. And then seeing how much you grew in that yeah. one month from just doing a few studies and yeah. challenging yourself and really paying yeah. attention to the fundamentals, and you just kind of yeah. you conquered a whole new area, which has completely unlocked. Yeah. Like no. so many new things. Yeah, now I can do different paintings. Yeah, it's well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But it's, it's good to rocks. see that process like actively working for someone who's yeah. still already kind of established and seems to yeah. have the fundamentals nailed. Oh, yeah. To see that kind of developing in you is amazing. Yeah. Um, it's pretty exciting and yeah. encouraging I and like inspiring. It. Yeah. <laughs> see, their fundamentals aren't that bad. Yeah. They're fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do you have anything else? I think I'm all good on the now. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, however long that was, that Not was good. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, hopefully that helped. Hopefully you are going to go do some fundamental studies now. Um, do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll be back to do another one of these sometime. I don't know what we'll talk about. If you have ideas that you want us to talk about, let us know. And uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. See you guys. Uh, hi. <laughs>